going on guys Bobby here with Bobby's backyard another day here another car check this out I don't know if anybody's ever seen one might be a first on my channel I don't know it's a Mitsubishi 2012 EV I don't know how to pronounce it I don't know how it is but it's an M I E V and my EV I don't know with another I on here with Incredibles maybe I don't know looks like it but it also has that insignia on the back seat back here so I don't know if it means something or what if anybody knows let me know this thing is pretty cool I like it might be, might be my daily driver I was gonna use the Nissan Leaf that's over there still got to do the battery swap that video is coming up soon but yeah let's focus on this this thing's cool four-door 2012 57,000 miles so it's not bad all every it's rear wheel drive all the engine or engine but motor and everything's back here i can't get the hatch open the battery is kind of dead so i'm just letting everything charge maybe it'll start working it is dirty it's filthy i'm gonna wash it right now look at that But yeah, this thing is cool. Yeah, 57,643. It's got over a half a tank of energy. This thing is bad. It's supposed to have like a 65, 70 mile range. It's got a 16 kilowatt battery pack. Um, a lot smaller than the Leaf, but it gets the range. The reason why is because, ooh, I just saw that, wow, they hit something hard. Um, but back on the uh, batteries, these don't have degradation problems that bad. This actually has a cooling system for the battery pack, for supercharging, um, everything. Uh, the end, the motor is uh, water cool or coolant water cooled also. So yeah, this thing has a lot of benefits. That's another reason why I got it and probably get rid of the leaf because of the battery degradation and all that so this is a lot better i think this is a better option so let's let's wash it up real quick take off all the writing take off the sticker and see what she looks like and we're back she's all washed up i found out that this thing is not just white it's a pearl in white dope that is pretty cool, but wow, she cleaned up nice. Got the wheels all armor all and everything. Heck yeah, we'll take for a test drive. Oh, I found out ah, the hatch does work. So I got that open, a little dirty, cheap carpet. It's got the latches for um, child seats. So that's cool. I get to put my my kid's car seat in here, not worry about it. And then under here, there's all this is where the uh, what you might call it, the motor and everything. Uh, it's rear wheel drive. Yes, rear wheel drive. All right. But yeah, so that's where everything is at. Rear wheel drive and it does need a main or not a main but the auxiliary 12 volt battery i tried charging all night no good so i'm gonna get one today i think that's why they turned it in it won't charge if the 12 volt battery is no good found that out same thing with the leaf leaf will not charge if your 12 volt accessory battery is no good so that's a good thing to know about evs or even even hybrids, if the battery, if the 12 volt battery is no good, it won't work right either. So um, I'm gonna take this on a little test drive, see how it goes, and then later on, um, which I'm gonna probably get a battery and do the interior. And we're back another day here on the Mitsubishi. On the last clip, we washed it up and it looked pretty good. As I was telling you, it is a pearl white, but we never got to look on the inside. And that is because this thing is filthy. 
I swear, what's up with these people that have hybrids, electrics? They're dirty, most, like, 80%. I'm sorry, but... Alright, maybe too much. Maybe 60%. But, yeah. I mean, look at the seats, man. I just can't drive it anymore like this. I was going to wait and make a video later when it's warmer and hotter, but I just... There's a stain right there. Look at the seats, man. Look how much dirt. I just... Ugh. I can't take it no more. I mean, look at the dirt. It's nasty. So, yeah. So, we're going to do a quick detail. I was going to take the seats out. Maybe still. I don't know. But I'm gonna do a quick vacuum. I can't I can't take this no more. Wipe it down. And then we'll do a full detail later on where I take out the seats, shampoo it, everything. Do the shampoo the seats. <laughs> nasty, nasty. I am gonna do the mats though. I'll do that real quick today. I'll power wash those, but the seats will do another day when it's a different uh, weather. It's still cloudy. So yeah, let's wipe everything down with some VLR, Meguiar's, and I'm going to take out my son's seat, vacuum everything out, and we'll be back and check it out. Alright, she cleaned up pretty good. I, wa I wiped everything down with some VLR. Look at that. This mat is still drying. That's why it's not in. But wow. Check it out. Way better, man. But like I said, it's not full detail. As you can see, you still see stains. I still got to shampoo it. But dang, man. Plastics came out pretty nice. That's mainly what I wanted to do, is clean up the plastics. You saw the center stack, that was dirty. The dash was filthy. Yeah, the passenger driver side, rear. And the driver, you saw the door panel was nasty before, but like I said, this is just a quick detail. I still got to do a full detail on it. Remember the seats had all that white stuff. Don't even want to know what it was. Dash is clean. yeah this might end this video here i'll see but there's not too much to do to it just uh i'm gonna do the headlights but you guys see me do enough headlights already so, but i am gonna redo those i think that's gonna be it for this video i'll see how long it is welcome back it's another day here on the uh, mitsubishi 2012 ev all electric vehicle as you saw in the last clip we cleaned it up on the outside looks really good and just vacuumed inside real quick and all that but I told you I was gonna return and do the interior and yes today we are gonna do the interior as you can see there's some weird spots going on right here I think the camera will pick it up some more on the driver's side the carpets not too bad it's again it's a cheap car it's got cheap carpet that velcro crap I got my son's seat but there's another stain under the seat and just plain dirty back here. It just smells weird. I don't know. So we're going to do that. Take out the front two front seats. Uh, I don't think I have to take out the back. I'll see if I can. And then I got this little cover on Timu. Timu is pretty tight. A little bit better than Wish.com is all I'm saying. And that's about it. I mean, it'll be a quick detail. And then that'll be in this video. Because there's nothing to do out there. Like I said, I bought this clean title. So did have front end damage this was the front end damage but clean title 
and as you could tell I redid the headlights off camera they look brand new compared to last time just go back to another clip or if I have another clip I'll run it through but yeah and then back here I'm gonna clean this up too uh, under this thing right here engine cover well electric cover rear cover whatever I'm gonna take that off I'll come back right now let me take this top off and then I'll show you how dirty it is under there right back oh yeah I forgot look how dirty this dang cabin filter is wow put it out in the sun look at that that's nasty so I got a new one I'm gonna throw that in. I don't have to show you. It's underneath the uh, glove box. So I'm gonna stuff that in there real quick. That's nasty, man. Just pure nasty. Never been changed. This is original Mitsubishi. Wow. All right. Oh, and another note. I've been using Vever products for a little while now. So I just got a new Vevor, Vivor, whatever uh, pressure washer. This thing's awesome. Real awesome. Got the foam cannon, four different tips, you can change them. And I bought this. This is an undercarriage cleaner. It's got four nozzles, hooks up to the pressure washer. Bought this separate. This was like 20 bucks, something like that. This was 101 on Amazon. I'm starting to use a lot of Vevor products. Here's another one. As you can see, Vevor, Vivor, however you say it, EVS. EVSE charger for the Mitsu. It's a 16 amp. It's great. It's awesome. Level one, level two charger. So it does uh, one, 110, 240. Let me show you the other one. And here's the other product, Vevor, for a trailer up to 5,000 pounds. This thing is awesome. Hook it up to my Deep Cycle 12 volt. Handle this trailer, no problem. It was so easier taking it out of the gate and everything, so that's cool. Vever product. And here's the back end underneath that cover. And it is rear wheel drive, so you can do burnouts in it, do some donuts. You can see the coil spring down there. A little mount right there. It's a little cage, straight axle on the rear. Uh, coolant, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Be right back. All right, before we uh, begin the interior cleaning, got to do some brakes. These things are bad. It, when you get off uh, the freeway, it, it shakes. So I got some ceramic brake pads for the front. These were expensive, man. Forty-five dollars. And then the rotors were expensive, like fifty bucks a piece. But yeah, they're hard to find. Like like I said, this car this car is a little rare. They made it from 2012 to 2019, but not many produced. Um, go ahead and search for them. Not many. All right, so let's start on the brakes. All right, in about 30 minutes, brakes are all done. New rotors, pads. Did you ever show you how small these wheels are? Look at as big as a motorcycle tire, man. These things are 145, 65, 15s, man. That's a trip. But yep. Yeah, all the brakes are done. Bam. Now for the interior. As you can see in there, there's no seats. I got the seats out. And now you can see that stain really good now. More than likely coffee. Got the uh, mats and everything out here. All sprayed down. I got the back seat up there. I'll do that later after I do the front seats. So I'm gonna jump on the front seats right now. I'm not gonna time lapse it. You saw how I do it on the Kia. If you follow me, I'm not gonna do it on every, every ride. Let me know if you guys do, then I'll do it all the time. It is kind of fun seeing all that nasty grind come out of the vacuum when it's sucking it up. But yeah, let me know. I mean, I'll try to time lapse all my details, but I only do the worst, worst, worst ones. And this one's not too bad, but I'll see. All right, so next, I'll clean out this. I'm gonna spray it down, clean it, and we'll be right back. And bam, 
just like that look how clean that came out damn you could actually see the orange wires now heck yeah man you can see the level everything hell yeah now i'm going to use that undercarriage to do underneath and i'll put the top back on all right let's do the seat this is what the inside looks like right now it's a little dirty a little spotty we'll get it we'll get it done yeah let's do this all right all done man Whew. i'm tired carpet looks good that seat looks real good no more stain driver's seat looking good down there oh it's like 90 right now man it's hot yeah interior came out really nice right on all right that's gonna end this video on the mitsubishi i mean all detailed out you already saw what the what the outside looked like all washed i'm gonna wash that up again and stuff like that so until next time catch you guys later all right that's gonna end today's video on bobby's backyard on the 2012 mitsubishi ev i -Meave. we washed the outside did the brakes detailed the inside shampooed all the all the seats and everything like that so she's ready for the road been ready for the road it's been a while um but yeah this thing is fun to drive it's cool no gas I haven't bought gas in about three months or so I don't even know what gas prices are um but till next time please like share consider subscribing right there on the right and if you have thank you for the support please drop a comment down below really helps out the channel talk to you guys later